breaking. Welcome to today's headline. On 31 December, if one is found in streets between 9 p.m. and 6 a.m., they will be arrested. On 31 December, if one is found in streets between 9 p.m. and 6 a.m., they will be arrested. To my dear listeners from wherever you're listening from, stay tuned as I read today's news. On New Year's Eve, if one is found on the streets of Bulawayo between 9 p.m. and 6 a.m., they will be arrested and those driving during coffee hours will have their cows impounded. Police in Bulawayo said they want the streets to be cleared during curfew hours. And those found on the wrong side of the law will be arrested and prosecuted. In the past, people used to engage in world celebrations on New Year's Eve until the wee hours of the morning. At 12 midnight, Fires from firecrackers illuminated the skies while motorists blew their horns to celebrate the start of the new year. Churches had crossover services running until 12 midnight as they also celebrated the start of the new year. The world is unfortunately now under a new normal following the outbreak of the COVID-19 pandemic. Hence, the curfew hours which do not allow activities to celebrate the start of the new year. Bulawayo Police Spokesperson Inspector Abed Nico Unkube said they will strictly enforce lockdown regulations which do not allow people to move during curfew hours, even on New Year's Eve. On 31 December, all roads will be closed to the public from 9 p.m. to 6 a.m., so no crossover celebrations are allowed. Anyone who will be seen driving during curfew hours will not just be arrested, but his or her vehicle will be impounded. Pedestrians who will be seen walking on the street will also be arrested, said Inspector Incube. He said all those arrested for violating curfew hours will be prosecuted. Inspector Incube urged people to stay at home and celebrate the start of the new year with their families. We are expecting everyone to comply with the law. Let us celebrate the crossover at our homes with our families. No gatherings are allowed during curfew hours. Hence, we are calling on citizens to confine themselves to their homes, said Inspector Incubay. Some churches have been advertising all-night prayer meetings, crossover sermons, and other activities to usher in 2022 despite the police ban. The police have said such gatherings will be a violation of the curfew. Last week, more than 100 people were arrested for drinking at bars and shipping in violation of the curfew hours. Meanwhile, Inspector Incube said they were concerned with the increase in rape cases involving women boarding pirate taxis. During this time, we have noticed an increase in rape Cases in the city, most of the victims are women who board unregistered under feet and other private vehicles. Let us avoid such motor vehicles. We have been conducting awareness campaigns, urging commuters to avoid burden pirate taxis, said Inspector Incube. He said cases of theft of copper cables were also on the increase and employed members of the public to work hard in hand with the police. We urge 
members of the public to report any suspicious persons in their areas seen near copper cables. Last month, we received a report that a certain motor vehicle with South African number plate dropped a tire, and when members of the public went closer, they discovered that copper cables were stashed in the tire. Investigations are in progress, said Inspector Inkube. On New Year's Eve, if one is found on the street of Bulawayo, between 9 p.m. and 6 a.m., they will be arrested, and those driving during coffee hours will have their cars impounded. Police in Bulawayo said they want the streets to be cleared during coffee hours, and those found on the wrong side of the law will be arrested and prosecuted. In the past, in the past, people used to engage in wild celebrations on New Year's Eve until wee hours of the morning. At midnight, fires from firecrackers illuminated the skies while motorists blew on to celebrate the start of the new year. Churches had crossover services running until 12 midnight as they also celebrated the start of the new year. The world is unfortunately now under a new normal following the outbreak of the COVID-19 pandemic, hence the curfew hours which do not allow activities to celebrate the start of the new year. Bulawayo Police Spokesperson Inspector Abed Nico Inkube said they will strictly enforce lockdown regulations which do not allow people to move during curfew hours even on New Year's Eve. On 31 December, all roads will be closed to the public from 9 p.m. to 6 a.m., so no crossover celebrations are allowed. Anyone who will be seen driving during coffee hours will not just be arrested, but either our vehicle will be impounded. Pedestrians who will be seen walking on the streets will also be arrested, said Inspector Incube. To my dear listeners, now we've come to the end of our today's news. Please do drop by at the comment section and let us know what your view is all about. Thank you.